Okay, hello everybody. Um, what I'm presenting today is a research done last year by Carlos Orcila, Beatriz González, David Blanco and me at the University of Salamanca. And it is entitled as follows, The Visual Representation of Female Refugees in the Main European Media. And this is basically a content analysis of photographs depicting gender refugees during the European migration crisis um, based on framing theory and specifically on visual framing. Uh, by way of introduction, we know last year Europe is experiencing the worst migration crisis in its recent history to the point that the number of forcibly displaced people today is greater than during the World War II. And the total number of displaced people has increased by 55% in just four years, the last four, four years. Um, you can see here, the, um, the, uh, you can appreciate in this figure the, the evolution of the number of, of, in terms of asylum applications in the last 10 years, and how this evolution worsened from 2015, specifically. Uh, by way of justification, we know that past literature has extensively studied how the Western media depict immigrants, but really few studies have focused on how they represent uh, refugees in the specific. There is also lack of work focus specifically on visual frames. Only about 17%, according to Elena Palacios. Uh, on the other hand, gender media um, issues could be a critical factor in understanding initial and future integration of women, who represent roughly the 50% of all the people in refugee like situations arriving in, in Europe. So, with this premise, our work using framing theory to examine how oh, these gender refugees are visually represented in the main Western Euro European media, and in this context of a global migration crisis, we think is, is really relevant. Um, regarding the theoretical framework, uh, and according to the framing theory, the we know the media report on, on events and actors in a specific way, selecting, uh, emphasizing, and giving precedence to certain attributes. This means that the media actively establishes the frames of reference that the audience, that the, the people uses to interpret and discuss public events. events. But this doesn't occur only with text, but frequently image photographs are used to frame more efficiently because of its expressive and symbolic power and for being always understood as a part of reality. In this sense, it is now uh, that visual depiction of female refugees in the Western, Western media can have a significant effect on the attitudes and perception of European citizens and probably on political decisions. Um, on the other hand, we also know that Western media usually depict migrants in a negative and mostly prejudiced way uh, when the subject, but when the subject in the news is uh, a refugee in a specific, this coverage today seems to diverge, depending on the media source and the temporal and ge geographical context. In this sense, According to Lopez del Ramo and Humanes, the European media today seem to transmit a vision of solidarity in favor of the refugees. But, uh, for example, in the Eastern media, the frame that seems to stand out is that which represents the refugees as a threat. However, Seng and Helmuller reveal divergences in the visual coverage of the migrants and refugees presented by CNN International and the German media, Der Spiegel. Uh, the international media depicted these groups in a more um, positive way than the German, the, the German one. Um, regarding the representation of women in the specific, they have been relegated, we know, uh, they have been relegated to a secondary role in all areas to, to, uh, of social, political, 
and economic life, which has been translated to, into significant levels of representation in the public and media world. On the other hand, and according to several studies, we can say that they are usually represented more frequently in photograph than in text. In addition, when women are the protagonist of the news, they generally adopt roles that reinforce the values and stereotypes established by the patriarchal society. And in this sense, when the women depicted are of Muslim origin, they usually wear hijab or head scarves and are associated with religious symbols and elements which usually serve to subdue them. Um, now I'm going to do a brief review of the connotative frames that we have specifically analyzed in this work. The two most negative frames identified, pre -identified um, in Western media are those that represent forcibly displaced people as a possible burden and as a possible threat to Western societies. Beyond it, uh, this threat frame, realistic or symbolic threat. Uh, we can see here some examples of these frames, the burden frame, uh, the photographs transmitting a threat frame. On the other hand, the, the other recurrent, the, the more positive frames that are perceived in European media are those that seem to portray refugees as, a, as victims and as normalized subjects, representing them in a more humanized uh, way. Uh, we can see here the, some pictures and examples of, uh, of uh, image of photographs transmitting using this, this frame, victimization frame, and this could be the normalization frame. So what are the hypotheses of this work? First, as I mentioned before, there is empirical evidence of the, the representation of women in media and in practically, in practically all the aspects of society the areas of society. So that's why we pose first, firstly that female refugees are underrepresented in the news photographs of the main Western European media. Secondly, um, I mentioned before, I, I, mentioned, I also mentioned before that media generally, generally contribute to reinforce the values and the stereotypes of its society. Uh, about this uh, it's also known that a significant number of female refugees arriving in Europe come from the Middle East and are mostly of Muslim origin. And assuming that the Muslim culture is one of the most conservative in terms of discrimination and exclusion for women, something that is continually perpetrated through the forced use of the Muslim headscarf, the Muslim Islamic veil, and other religious symbols, we pose that female refugees are depicted more often with religious symbols and elements uh, in the photographs of these um, European media than male refugees. And lastly, regarding the predefined connotative frames, we understand that victimization frame is one of the most recurrent in the Western media and it's going, going to be mainly applied in relation to women. And taking into account that violence is usually understood as an essential masculine attribute that can transmit an idea of dominance about the person who exercises it. So it's expected that burden and threat frames are more related to male refugees. In this sense, we finally pose that, that hypothesis that female refugees are depicted more often in normalization and victimization frames, while male refugees are depicted more frequently uh, in burden and, and threat frames. And where are the where is the, the method? The method. Uh, well, we content analyzed 500 photographs depicting refugees and migrants from 10 media outlets of five Western European countries published since 2013 to 2017 uh, with presence on Google News. Uh, we can appreciate here the, the distribution of photographs per media and countries of, of, of ascription. 
the countries were uh, Germany, Spain, France, France, Italy, and United Kingdom. Um, these were the, the, the media outlets. And we can see here in this figure um, the distribution of photographs per media and year. We analyzed uh, 10, 10, picture, 10 photographs per media and year and 20 per country and year. Uh, the category system was based on instruments uh, designed before by other author, authors in previous studies and the, the intercolorability for all variables for all categories was higher than 0 0.67 which is the acceptable number in social sciences. So um, we go to the findings. We uh, first First of all, uh, regarding the hypothesis one, we found that there is indeed an underrepresentation of female refugees in the analyzed media. Since that female refugees were depicted in only 20.4% of all photographs depicting only one gender, and male refugees were depicting, depicted in 79.6% in this picture depicting just one gender. So hypothesis one is confirmed. Regarding the hypothesis two, we found that in the photographs depicting exclusively female ref refugees appear more religious elements than in the photographs depicting only male refugees. We can see here the percentage, um, 20, 26 in the case of the, of the female refugees and 5.1% in the case of male refugees. There is a statistical, a statistical difference in means with a median effect, effect size. So hypothesis two is also confirmed. Um, lastly, uh, finally, regarding the connotative frames, we also found statistical differences for all frames except, except for the normalization frame. Female refugees were more frequently depicted as victims than, fem than male refugees. The male refugees in opposite were more often depicted as a possible burden and as a possible threat for Western society, for European societies than female refugees. So we can see the figure and the effect sizes. So this data um, partially confirmed hypothesis three. By way of conclusion, uh, as we have seen, there is an underrepresentation of female refugees in this uh, main European media. This means that in a society dominated by media, female refugees are being relegated to a secondary role, while male, re remain, male refugees remain the protagonists of media narratives. In addition, considering that women are normally represented more frequently in photographs than in tests, the implications of this study can be even more negative. Also, we found that female refugees are more frequently associated with religious elements and symbols, so European media could be like this, contributing to reinforce the dominant religious values through their photographs, linking them with a passive and self missive role. And finally, we found uh, that female refugees are more frequently than male refugees linked, link, uh, linked to um, victimization frames. Commercially, male refugees are more frequently associated with burden, art, or threat frames. This could be read as far favorable for women since that uh, they are depicted in a more solidary and humanized way than men, but symbolically and connotatively, this is discouraging for female refugees. Since that in this way, European media is showing women as weak, vulnerable, submissive, and inoffensive uh, subjects. So while the media depict male refugees as uh, active uh, and owners of their lives, Female refugees are continuously represented just as innocent and passive actors. And that's all. Thank you for, for your attention.